Greetings, everybody. Time for the review. This movie is our last Halloween. It is a Hannibal Dare production, but one of its first live action movies. It starts in a little town that is run down on candy, but let's first begin with four aliens Gleep, Wumptoot, or Scooter, and Binks. Voiced by Frank Walker, Gleep says Paul Williams, Don Mesquite for Wumptoot, and for Scooter, Frank Walker again. Have been sent to Earth to plan from planet Mars in order to find a rare medical material known as Koopy, which will later be which later on be revealed by something else. After crashing land on Earth, they wander the streets searching for Koopy, but mistaken for trick or treaters. Also, the beginning of this, their town couldn't do Halloween anymore because the water was well known working due to the fact that the lake being dried up, and. The brother of the little sister, Jeannie, tends to wear her costume that her mother made for her before her mother passed on. Sadly, she wears this Wonder Woman costume that her mom made for her. A little cute little girl. And they have a mean, very mean neighbor. An old lady. Her name is Mrs. Gisbonner. With her helper, Hans, or Richard Moore, if you know her. And I will explain about him in a different time. After review. <clears throat> and in the end, in the end, though, those two, father worked for the candy shop and owned the candy shop. And if they didn't have any Halloween, it would be their last Halloween. That's why this movie was called Accredited Last Halloween. Okay, that's very creative. Whoever created this must have been, must have been way a genius Halloween. Not! <laughs> the fact is, has been they have been secretly. The reason why is the water has been disappearing lately, you'll see first. Four aliens chase down two kids, Michael and Jeannie, into the wood, and the children learn that the alien missions are agreed to help them collect candy. Candy is what they call Koopy, what keeps their planet all nice and energized. So they gather candy, and <laughs> a boy is forced to wear an embarrassing costume that belongs to his sisters, his sisters, that is, which is adorable. And she teaches them about mothers and parents, which is a very cute scene. Seeing that she lost her mother, how oh, sad, really sad. It is sad indeed. But meanwhile, the dreaded villain, Mrs. Gisbonner, and her helper, Hans, are an old hunter perform an experiment on an insect to find the secrets to internal youth. Yeah, she's been trying to do this for experiment for so long, and she drained completely Crystal Lake. Without the water means was the power to candy factory down. Mrs. Gisborne demands that Hans find a big, strong enough book to survive a nuclear meltdown. The special return the special returns to the children alien. They agree to split into good groups. But also as she as he was throwing a stone into the mud, he asked about what was going on, why there was no water. And he told them, Well, the water was all drained. Without water they couldn't do it. But he told him, if you want to make a wish come true, you don't have to throw a stone in the mud. You have to make it work. They could do it. Then, as Jeannie and, well, his name is Bink. Bink is known to be the cutest little alien ever. And basically, Bink is, has bonded closely with, well, with Jeannie. Because Jeannie is, well, the heart of the child, a heart of child, or a child, if you go. Know. Michael means and children become distracted when they learn that Bing has run away towards Mr. Gilbert's house. Has been studying Bing for a big bug. Impressive to capture Bing and bring him to Mrs. Gilbert's bond. <laughs> Evil, nasty witch. Children learn that Mr. Gilbert's bond are plucked, but soon captured by Hans. Jeannie and Michael are quickly able to escape Bing in town lake, and they are found by Jeannie and Michael's father, who goes on towards. Thwarts Miss Gaines' bomb plan. The first group of alien area to Canada may take all the candy gave Michael a special skip and stone. And before they left, still Jeannie gives half of Mother's costume to Bing. And Bing is like saying, Bing, Bing, Bing. But then the other alien says that he says, Thank you, Mother. And the thing is, 
She taught them that the mother is someone that loves you, takes care of you, and watches over you. And that's what she did with little Beam. In the end, they gave them lots of luck, and they gave them lots of cash they could take to their homes. And with the planet, and with the special skip episode, you'll see and soon find out in this next part. The group of aliens erred, although had to speak, given like a special skip episode, and yes, and you'll see that the stone of power wishes revealed crystal. Oh, yeah. Michael used the stone, threw the skip episode to the wall, and to the ground, and suddenly the water grew back, and the whole town was full of water once more, and the candy factory saved. High town people end up in a special enjoyment. So basically, this was a very good movie. It was very old, but a classic. I would say that it had a lot of characteristic ideas with the aliens, although the, AG, the aliens were CGI mostly, which were quite impressive, even by, ha by Hanna-Barbera standards. And as for actors for this movie, Paul Williams as Gip, as I said, Wumtoot as Don Meskeek, Scootie as Frank Walker, our famous one, <laughs> and being as Frank Walker again, and Will Nipper as Michael, hmm. Sarah Martinick by, as Jeannie, don't know who that is, oh, Rob Perlman, oh my god, <laughs> Rob Perlman who played, that's amazing, and her sister, so basically Rob Perlman played as the evil woman, oh god, Rich Moore, let's see about Richard Moore, let's see, as an M-O-L-L-L, -L -L. He was in the Sword and Sorceress, but I'm only looking at movies that have. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen her. Storybook. Ooh, he was in Jingle All the Way. Didn't know that. Scary Movie 2. Angels and Angels. The Headless Horseman. Never knew that. Sadly, he was in a lot of movies that I knew. Only BJ and the Bear. Did I miss Avengers? Seth Lubu. Mark Twain Beneath the Laughters. Mm. There's a lot of things I've seen him. Fantasy Island. Mm. What do you think, girls? Eh, he didn't do a lot. ABC School Break Special and Batman Anime Series. He was, oh, it's, oh wait, yeah, here he is. He was the voice of Two-Face. My Max Norman. And of course, in Hercules' Legendary Journey, he was the Cyclops. The Eye of Beholder that episode. Chris the Phoenix of I mean, Twisted Tales of Felix the Cat. He was even in Seventh Heaven, Superman, Freakazoid, and Ah, Real Monster! She was the voice of the Big Bunny, Gangster One, from Ah, Real Monsters! No one can resist that show. The Incredible Hulk and the Legend of Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane was a classic. And he was even a voice in the um, Happy Ever After. Very tender for a child, Sabrina Teenage Shows. The show followed that he was the very voice. But his last voice until 2016 was, hmm, Ghost Shark. Oh God, rather not. However, the last movie, the last thing he voiced was Two Face from the Batman Brave and the Bold. But this is a review about that. Not that this. Sorry, but to give us the name. The movie was created in October 28, 1991, the year after um, I was born. Animation was provided by Indus. Industrious Light and Magic. Pacific Data Image. It was only time when Hanna Barbera would use CGI animation instead of traditional limited animation. Yeah, even back then. Basics. But I could tell you this. Jeannie was one of my favorite characters in the review. I mean, in the story. Because she showed to be very motivated by the love of her mother. She kept wearing the costume that her mom gave to her because out of love and respect because she loved her mother very much. The same thing goes to Michael, being a very good big brother, keeping her sis his sister very safe from the bowels of Miss Giesbon, the woman. Ugh. And that's for Hans, Ugh. very funny. But as for the enemies themselves, they all have characteristics. Grip is the leader, Rumtoot is the second in command, Scooter is the usual little one repairing things, and Bing is just, just a sweet little thing. Kind of private from Penguin Madagascar. But yes, this movie is quite classic. If you're into the uh, classic 90s movies, then you'll know which one to pick. Have a good night, y'all. Okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. Hee <laughs> hee